I'm going to talk about the modernism and the, how the effect of the island, which is the case of the parasha in Hindustan. Table of contents, uh, modernism, I will talk about uh, general characteristic of the Cyprus and the, uh, as a case study of how they live in the parasha. Brief introduction to uh, modern architecture started in the 19th century and became the 20th century. After that, uh, back then, the main topic was the functionality and the uh, clear linear forms for that matter. And the looking forward to the future, this was the main concern about that. And the, uh, as you can see, if you travel, uh, if you uh, travel to the Varusha, there's uh, no, you can. You cannot see the many ornaments on the buildings and the, such a things. The world uh, very with this issue of back then. So as you can see, uh, opening with the glass wash on October 8th, uh, it was uh, tenable in the stretchers from the past, just like a frozen city nowadays. Aim of the study uh, observed that the modern architecture is compatible with the culture of the Cyprus and the economic the facade samples in the Varusha. And thus, this research will focus on the impact of the modernization of the architecture of Cyprus and especially studying with the facade of the hotels. My limitation is uh, limited with the hotel buildings in Varusha. My methodology I divide into the, uh, five categories. Of my uh, examining the my building's facade, which is the material, openings, proportion, style, and the ornamentation on the surface. The analysis of the case studies will be based on those factors. Uh, the modernism motto is the form follow function, which is there is many of them, but the, the most demand was the functionality of the spaces. It is from right to right, right from left points. Many, many architects uh, has come up with the motto and then they add the something on top of it that is coming from. Which you can see the, the, some of the examples of the modernism and the uh, architects of the process, the standard house, so there is all of them, the Bauhaus school, which is the um, roots of this idea, come from that school, the Corbusier, Bola Salot, Isaboy, and this from the Rebbe Glass Houses, and the Frank Lloyd Wright, the Holland Potter House. I want to mention about our in Cyprus and the general characteristics and the architecture. As you know, um, the geography of the island is very important because the architecture shapes by its uh, features. And the social cultural, cultural context is there. There's many uh, ancient treasures in the island and the many civilization lived here and they put behind their culture here. So it's a very mixture and which is a good point in some in some ways to do uh, explore the new things. Okay uh, traditional speed architecture uh, becoming is uh, coming from masonry and the limestone Timber, which is the local material they were used. In the 50s, 60s, there was a construction boom and the build the school, offices, the kindergartens, and the, some of the public buildings like that. After the, the, the development under the functionalism and the suburb developed its own style combined with the modernist design, colonial period, uh, and the Ottoman period before that. Uh, but nowadays, the material is available in the island, much more back then. 
So it's changing the supply. And also our data life and the needs are different. Architecture shaped by it. Mediterranean style, and I'm so talk a little bit. Um, the Mediterranean style, of course, is conditioned by the climate conditions, which will be very humid hot weather, very warm and humid hot weather, it's shaping life uh, in these conditions. The wall are turning with the white page on the of the paint. These colors reflect the sun rays, the roofs of the house are often covered with brown, red, or the orange tiles, and the roof have a slight slope. Which you can, you can see in the cypress. Mm -hmm. But what of Shah? What of Shah is a sort of uh, and cultural town. Just there is a cypress stretched in the era. Of the most famous tourist spot in cypress before the 1974. Uh, Abandoned by its Greek city population during the cypress operation, the area remained under military control after the operation, and it is most of the it was close to the settlement and the settlement. The, back then, this is, of the, this is preserved, and the, after that opening, you can see the buildings. Uh, analysis of a hotel building in the Warsaw. Every when we look at material, material wise, you can see the natural color, concrete facade, the texture, and the exposed structure in the visible column on the facade. As an opening, the horizontal continuity, the windows were separated from the column, and the windows, windows run from the end to the other. As a proportion, you can see, you can easily see the modular impression, uh, usage of horizontal and the linear elements of the facade, and the use of flat roof. So tile, uh, it is applied on the modernism principle on the facade. And ornamentation and the symbol lies the rejecting the ornament and historical style, the emphasis of vertical and horizontal continuity. As a quotation, it is the uh, I want to summarize it. So nowadays we look around our city silhouettes being away from the traditional Cyprus architecture, also our life was changed back then. And the uh, inclusion of the technology, the diverse of the material and the technical technique, and everything become easier rather than the past. We get used to do ready in our in our terms. And the study will be conducted by the pointing at the view of the characteristic of the transformation of facade of the hotel building in Warsaw, the consequence of the change in social, social cultural and the technological. This is a going on research. There's some addition. Maybe I'm 